Hey folks, Amy Mahaffey here, and I'm super excited to welcome you to the first day of class. Um, I'm going to jump in here and make a couple short videos today. I am at home with my children. They do not start school until Wednesday. Today is Monday. So if you hear any interruptions, I'm going to go ahead and apologize in advance. Um, I have bribed and threatened them to stay in there and watch TV, but um, I think after COVID, we are all used to people working from home. So uh, I'm going to jump in here and kind of give you a tour of the class so that you know where to begin and tell you a little bit about myself. So this class is super fun. Uh, I've been teaching it for several years now, several sections every semester, and I love it. Um, I have done marketing for many years in the public sector, and I love being able to bring all of that experience into the classroom and to tell you all about the super fun things that are related to marketing. So um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to kind of show you around the class a little bit and trying to show you what the different aspects of the course will look like. And we'll go through the syllabus. Um, this course and this video is being made for two different sections that are online this semester. One is an eight week and one is a 16 week. So be very careful when you are watching me here that you pay attention to the course, the section that you are in. So if you're in an eight week class, make sure you pay attention to those due dates and what I'm saying about that class versus the 16 week class. That's just a little caveat here. So I'm gonna share my screen, so much fun. All right, so you will see here, um, this is kind of your homepage. Here are your news updates. I will try not to inundate you with news updates, however, Things come up, things happen. Um, COVID is on the rise. So people may be sick. I may be sick. My kids may be sick. Um, there may be things that change. My goal and the way that I set this up when I've taught this online previously is that everything really runs pretty smoothly. Um, and you will hear me talk a lot about my experience and part of where I come from and from my past jobs is I want you to treat this class like a job. So if you are going to be late or miss a deadline, um, I'm not super lenient when it comes to making up things unless you have communicated it with me in a way that is professional and makes sense to me. So I've heard all the excuses that there are here. Um, I know that things happen in your life that are outside of just me and you and D2L in this class. Um, and so if you can come to me and present your situation in a really professional way in a timely manner, not, oh, it's really late and I didn't have time to do my stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and email her, but, oh, it's looking like I have a lot going on this week and something else came up. We had an emergency, my having issues with my job, whatever the case may be, do you mind giving me a few extra days? If that forethought is there, I'm more inclined to be flexible with you, just like with the job. In the real world, if your boss has a hard deadline, you usually know it. So these are my hard deadlines that you'll see in this course calendar. At the same time, a lot of hard deadlines, depending on the nature of them, can be adjusted if you are communicating professionally. So I will say that over and over again, things that happen in the real world, because this is what this is preparing you for. The goal here is that you take this course, Principles of Marketing, every business major takes this course. Uh, a lot of you take this course as an elective. And so my goal here is that when you leave here, you are super excited and you know everything there is to know about the basics of marketing. And this will really jumpstart your ability to go into other fields of study and other marketing courses and really know your stuff. So I'm going to kind of show you what this is going to look like and how this is going to work. Um, today, you will see um, this welcome video. Um, I'll make it visible as soon as it's live. All of this is hidden right now. Some of you emailed me and said, hey, there's nothing there. I promise I'm working on it. Um, I wanted this to look really polished and perfect for you so that there wasn't any confusion. Um, but you'll see kind of your ability to click through this in a really organized way. So your materials that you need, kind of an introduction to the course, that looks crazy jacked up. I don't know why, but that's okay. We're gonna keep going. Um, the course tour, I'll give you a look around the course here in a minute and you'll be able to watch that and really figure out all that good stuff. Um, you'll see a little bit about me. I wanna tell you a little bit about me. Um, these are my cute kids. And I hope they don't make an appearance while I'm making this video, but 
that's Hunter and that's Hattie and they're crazy and super cute and we love them. And, um, I was for the last five years working at the city of Nacogdoches as the communications and marketing director. And so that has brought me a lot of knowledge to be able to bring to the classroom. Before that, I was working at the state 4-H headquarters. So when I say 4-H, if you don't know what that is, if you think about um, like your county fair, showing animals, the little four leaf clover that you see on things, um, 4-H is the largest youth organization in the country. Texas has the largest 4-H membership in the entire country. So I essentially worked for the largest youth organization in the whole country. And so um, that was great. I did marketing and promotion. I ran events for them. I did big conferences, um, these huge five-day conferences that we had concerts and we had um, contests and different things. And so 4-H is a whole, whole lot more than just um, sows and plows, if you will. So um, my background is in agriculture. I got my um, agriculture communications degree at Texas Tech, and then I went to Texas A&M for my master's in ag communications, and then I got my doctorate in, um, we call it nonprofit develop or nonprofit, I said that wrong, youth development with a nonprofit um, emphasis, and so I was working for the nonprofit 4-H at the time, um, and so it really has brought together a lot of really interesting experiences for me to be able to share with you. Um, I also, in my free time, haha, um, when I left my job in December of last year, December of 2020, um, I was still teaching adjunct classes through SFA, teaching a lot of classes here in the ag department as well. And um, I started, I got back to taking professional photos. Um, before, I, when I was in school at Texas A&M, I was taking lots and lots of photos. I had an amazing client base. And then I moved in beautiful Nacogdoches and kind of lost all my clients, started a new job at the city, didn't have a lot of time. And so I was able, when I left my job at the city to get back into that. And it's been really amazing. And from that has spurred this second kind of arm of my business. So in addition to photography, I've started working with brands and lots of different small businesses to manage their social media. And so that has also brought me a really unique perspective to this class in particular, because as we get into more and more conversations about marketing and social media in this particular class, you will start to hear me give examples of different things that I've done for small businesses. Um, I have six clients right now. So six different small businesses that I manage their entire pages. Most of them, I do their entire Facebook page and their entire Instagram page. Um, so that's crazy because I can't believe it like grew really fast this summer over the summer. And so it's gotten to be a really big part of my business, actually bigger than the photography stuff. And so I'm super excited to share some of that with y'all as it pertains to the things that we're going to learn in this class in the textbook. And so it'll be cool, I think, to like read our chapters, take our quizzes, do all the fun class stuff, but then really be able to dig in and talk about different businesses and how they all do this differently. Because everybody, we can give you the formula for the class and how marketing works, and it works pretty much the same for everybody. But the way that people implement it can be very, very different depending on the nature of the business, the industry, the size of the business, all of the above. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be super fun. But I don't know if you can tell. I'm excited. I'm excited for this semester to start. I know that you're online and that you chose an online class for a reason, I'm sure. But I'm also teaching a face-to-face -face section of this course. And so if you're like, okay, I'm excited about this now too. I really want to get even more into this. You can always come to face-to-face. -face. It's on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 1230 to 1.45. Um, my office is in the business building, and I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute, but even though you're online, if you're in Nacogdoches or you're here to visit or something, you are more than welcome to come see me and talk to me about class or anything else. So here is the syllabus, da -da -da -da, the moment you've been waiting for. Um, so I'm going to show you, I'm not going to read this to you because you're in college and you can read, right? So I'm just going to kind of hit the high points here. I really want you to take a little bit of time to look at this. Um, you will have access to me through email. This is my cell phone number. So I'm pretty accessible. Uh, I would like to think that students who have had me before would tell you 
I'm pretty quick on the draw when it comes to answering text messages. So, or even phone calls, but I know y'all like to text. I like to text too. So, um, unless something crazy is going on or I'm teaching class or it's really late at night or something, um, usually a text is fine. Um, if I don't answer you right away, don't get mad. I'm just, you know, busy mom doing all the things, but, um, that's a perfectly acceptable way to get a hold of me. Since I am teaching this course in multiple formats, I have kind of structured my office hours in a unique way. So um, on Mondays and Wednesdays, I will be in my office in the business building, 403Q. Um, you can come see me there. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I may or may not be in my office. I'm trying to give myself that flexibility, but I will be at this link right here on this Zoom call. Here's the meeting ID. Here's the passcode. So if you have a question about class and you're like, I really need her to like show me something or I have a really complicated question and I want to do, you know, office hours, if you will, you can stay in your PJs and hop on this link and connect with me that way. So, um, my goal is to be accessible to y'all in all these different ways so that if you are working night shifts, if you have a full-time job, if you are a parent, if you are anything that I mentioned or anything that I didn't mention, just a busy student doing lots of things, you can get a hold of me in a way that works for you. Um, this class requires a subscription. I will explain all of that in the course tour video, but just kind of pay attention to that. Um, I really want y'all to be excited and I want you to learn. Um, part of what I find every semester is things change. Last semester we had, let's see, two, three snow days with my face-to-face -face classes. Um, that totally changed every single thing that I had planned for the semester. It got our calendar all out of whack. It was wild. Remember we had like the one kind of like beginner snow day and then we had like the advanced snow apocalypse. And as y'all all know and experience that really screwed up the class. So I say in here, if you, if we experience things like life, weather, things happen, whatever, um, I reserve the right to change the syllabus. Um, more often than not, it actually all the time, I will never change the syllabus in a way that hurts the student. So um, if you see um, me move a deadline, it's usually to give you more time. I'm not ever going to say, oh, now we're going to do all of this stuff early because um, that, that just doesn't work. <laughs> um, so just kind of know that. In this syllabus, there is a course calendar. I am, like I said, reserve the right to change the dates and the structure as we go. Every class kind of has its own personality, its own flavor. And so I like to leave myself a little bit open to make that work for us and whatever that looks like for this. Um, those changes will be communicated via D2L. So I won't necessarily come back in here and like revamp the entire calendar on the syllabus. I'll probably communicate that with you through a news link or through a news alert through D2L. And that's always going to take precedence over what's here. So um, I expect you to be present. I expect you to log in. I expect you to engage with the content. I have set this up in a way that is user friendly. It makes sense. It's easy to navigate, so you should not have trouble after this first week and after this first little getting started module that we're doing that you're in right now. After you do all the things, you should be set up for success. Um, you all know how to act, so turning in late work, academic integrity, any accommodations that you may need, any students that need certain accommodations, please, please let me know. I will absolutely accommodate or do whatever we need to do to make that work for you and your learning. Um, I have included in this syllabus a little note about how to communicate with me. So please take some time to read that um, all too often. And I think it's important that you as students learn to communicate professionally. And so I will hold you to that standard. Um, like I said, treat this like a job. If you were to email your boss, what does it sound like? What do you say? Um, you can do these things and make sure that you sound professional and you are more likely to get a response that you were looking for, a response that helps you if you take your time and start practicing how to sound professional and how to present yourself in a professional way via email. So if you are emailing me, please take a look at this, make sure that you are making note and conducting yourself professionally. Um, sign up for the D2L 
notifications. Because like I said, things change. You need to get those little news alerts on your phone. If you forget to log in, if there's weather related issues and you don't have internet, things like that, a lot of times the phone will still work. And so please, please, please um, sign up for the notifications um, and we will go from there. I talk fast, I know, made myself out of breath. So you will see lots of different types of assignments within each unit. Here are some notable assignments. This is certainly not the entire scope of the class, um, but the modules are very well developed at this point. I've taught this class several times. Um, I'm looking to add some new fresh stuff in so that we kind of keep y'all updated and in the know of all the new cool things that are happening in the world of marketing. But these are some things that you can expect and kind of our point structure. So here's the course timeline. For the eight-week class, this is Fast and Furious. For the 16-week class, it's a little bit different, but just take note of these dates and know that you will have exams, you will have some other things, and I'll talk a little bit about all of that stuff in the next video, but I just kind of wanted to give you the bird's eye view of your course. So thanks for tuning in, guys, and make sure you click all the way through the module to look at all the materials that you need to get set up this week. Talk to you soon. Bye.